All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a teleporter in Roblox Studio. So you can walk into one part and it'll teleport you to the place of another part. So the first thing we wanna do is make a folder in the workspace. So just click on the plus in workspace and insert a folder. And then I'm just gonna call the folder teleporter. And now in this teleporter, we're just gonna add two parts. So add a part and then you can duplicate it. And now we've got our two parts. I'm gonna call one of the parts teleporter and one of the parts location and then for the teleport part I'm just going to make it look like a teleporter so make it a bit bigger make it slightly transparent and yep that looks all right and now I'm just going to make sure both the parts are anchored and then in our location part I'm just going to drag that to wherever I want us to teleport to and I'm going to click on it and make sure can collide is false and then I'm just going to put that on the floor here Right, so now we can start scripting our teleporter. So the first thing we want to do is insert a script in this teleport folder. And I'm just going to call this script teleport script. And now in this script, first of all, we want a variable for each part. So local location equals script.parent.location. So that is the location part. And now we want a variable for the teleporter part. So local teleporter equals script.parent.teleporter. Right, now we've got both these variables. We want an event that fires whenever something touches this teleporter. So what we can do is just teleporter.touched, colon connect, and then a pair of brackets, and then function. And then in these brackets here, we just want to take hit, so whatever's hit it, and then open up this function. Right, so now we want to find out if it's actually a player. So how we can do that is say if hit.parent, colon find first child, humanoid root part. So if it's got a humanoid root part, then we want to move this humanoid root part to the location so just say hit.parent.humanoidrootpart.cframe equals i'll just zoom out a bit so you can see what i'm doing equals location.cframe plus vector3.new and a pair of brackets and then zero comma then however many studs above this teleport part you want to go so i'll just say three studs above it and then comma zero so what this is doing is whenever the teleport is touched it runs this function with whatever's hit it and if we find a humanoid root part in whatever's hit it we move the humanoid root part to the location part c frame plus three on the y-axis so now if i play the game and if i walk over to our teleporter and i touch it it takes us to our location part so again if i touch it it'll take us to the location and like I said, you can change how high you are above it, above this teleporter part, and the offset on the X and Y axes. So for example, if I want to make it teleport us 10 studs above our location part, I can just change 10 on the Y axes, and then if we play the game again. And now this time, if I touch it, it teleports us 10 studs above our part. So that was how you can make a teleporter in Robot Studio with two parts and a script. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.